what am I going to miss about the Falcon in front of you? Everything. You know, it's just uh, 13 years of blood, sweat, and tears. Falcon was and is the only uh, jet that's been operational. So um, it's, it's a unique era for Coast Guard history. I don't know that we'll ever get back to it. Mm, it's a great search and rescue response time. You know, able to get out quick, be on scene as speedily as possible. We're able to drop rafts, pumps, um, radio cans, just about anything else that needs to be dropped out. We've really done some amazing things. I mean, the history of the program, it started off with a, a non-censored aircraft. And then, you know, as the, the Coast Guard missions evolved and we took on different mission sets, we used it for uh, air intercept as well, down in the Caribbean to um, interdict the cocaine cowboys that would fly light aircraft up from South America and drop bales offshore. You know, this plane was over in the first Gulf War, you know, and it was marking all the oil fields that were put on fire. So um, it, it's really, uh, it's, it's touched every faucet of Coast Guard missions. Everybody loved the Falcon. You know, it's like going from a Corvette to a pickup truck. You know, it's uh, definitely fun to drive. It's a beautiful aircraft. Uh, incredibly successful worldwide and uh, really recognizable, but just not practical anymore. What I'm going to miss about the Falcon is just the bond that I have with the aircraft. I've been working on it for 13 years. I know every nut and bolt, you know, I know where everything goes. I know what it's supposed to sound like. Overall, I mean, it's, it's a very good, capable aircraft. I think we're headed on a high note. You know, the, the, the plane's obviously proved itself time and time again for 30 plus years of service. You know, I'll be sad to see her go, but uh, looking forward to the future and the capabilities that, you know, will follow her.